If you've watched our iron comparison videos before, you've heard us talk a lot about the lofts and how the loft can impact the distance. Well, today we're going to conduct a test to show you is it the technology or the loft that is driving the distance in the irons today. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing in our Minnetonka Tour Van. And we are, have a fun test today. A uh, lot of debate, a lot of chatter in our comments about, um, in our iron comparison videos, loft, technology, what is driving the distance in irons today? So um, we've got a couple of irons today that are very different in technology. Um, and that is the TaylorMade P7MB Classic Blade Forged Iron and the P790, which is certainly got a bunch of technology packed in there to promote distance, um, but they're also, their standard lofts are very different. So, so Thomas, that's where the kind of our test comes in today, where we're gonna try to match those lofts up a little bit. You can kind of explain how that's gonna work, but essentially we're gonna try to figure out, you know, if these irons are at the same loft, does the P790 still go further because of that technology in there? Right, and a lot of our viewers, you know, they may think, is it, is it loft jacking? I know that yeah. word gets thrown around a lot in the golf industry, and or is it technology? Is it the speed foam, for mm -hmm. example, in P790s yeah. that causes that, that ball to go further and be more explosive and, yeah. and spin less, mm -hmm. essentially? Um, well, today we've got an interesting test. We have, uh, so we've got the six iron and the seven iron of the P7MB. Okay. So the, the P7MB, the six iron, has 31 degrees aloft on it. Okay. The uh, P790, has 30 and a half degrees loft on the seven iron. Okay. So they, you know, they're split by half a degree, but right. they're basically the exact same loft. What's even more interested, interesting is the uh, eight iron of the P790 has 35 degrees of loft, and the seven iron of the P7MB has 35 degrees of so loft as well. So it's the exact same. Okay. So we're gonna really kind of test. Now, yes, we've got half an inch difference in, in the club length, no, I'm gonna do my best to get the club speed to match up exactly. Yeah. So I'll swing a little faster if I need to. If I need to jump on the eight iron, for example, yeah. this little shorter shaft. Sure. I'll, I'll do that. These golf shafts are you know, almost identical. We've got the Moldus 105 stiff and the Diamond Gold 105 stiff. So okay. very, very similar in, in weight. Luckily at second swing, we've got bundles of different golf clubs to yeah. test and compare. So this way we don't have to bend our fitting components. Right. I, we could try and, and do that, but yeah. I don't want to attempt to bend our fitting components. You want components the fitting components to be, you know, the best that they can be for right. fittings, so. Exactly, so this is, this is a very close test and this is going to be a great comparison comparing loft versus technology. Yeah, that's a good way to, do. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but I think it's the best way we can do it to kind of show golfers, you know, maybe their theories are right about loft jacking or maybe there is something to this technology that, um, you know, that TaylorMade has, for example, in the P790s. and. I will say in the testing that we've done in P790s, whether it's the 2017 model, the 2019 model, or now the new 2021 model is, it has always been uh, among, or maybe the farthest um, distance or player's distance iron um, out there. So um, really that's kind of, I think that's a great iron to have for this test is it's always been explosive, always been really high ball speeds and low spin to generate a ton of distance. And then the P7MB has always been very consistent at just spinning a little more. Mm -hmm workability, just feeling like a pure blade. Mm -hmm, exactly, well, uh, let's, uh, let's get it started here. Let's do it. Thomas, what do you got first here to, to lead us off? Let's start off with the 35 degree comparison first. So I've got the P790 eight iron. Okay, okay. So that's one where the, you know, well, I guess with both of our different comparisons within a larger comparison, but we'll have different lengths of shafts as we mentioned. So we'll just keep an eye on that club speed number a little bit to kind of make sure it's close and matching up. Right, yeah, the eight iron's got 36 and a half inches for standard length is the okay. length. Okay. P790 is, it's a different feeling iron than the 
the blades that you're usually, or all players irons that you're usually used to hitting. It just, it seems so easy to hit for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a, it's a larger profile. Um, it's a smooth, smooth swing that I'm hitting basically my, I'm hitting my seven iron numbers. With yeah, iron. you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Face is wide open on that. That's actually interesting though, because that spin is not really moving anywhere. Right. I mean, that's an open face shot, three degrees open, and it's that spin jumped up maybe what a hundred or two hundred RPM there. Yeah, it's a, for an eight iron, it's, it's mm -hmm. not that much spin yeah. for sure. It's like five shots, right? Yeah, that's five. All right. Let's bring up the data here from five swings. This is the P798 iron, um, 35 degrees aloft. And I just as, this is a very quick kind of glance at it because I, we've done so many iron comparisons over the last couple of years here. And I know you always say 178 is kind of the carry number uh, with your seven iron, which is usually at 34 degrees. Yep. 35 degree P790 here, 177.2. Um, now, how did you feel about those swings? I mean, those are good swings. I know there was a couple maybe had the face open on, but what did you think about those swings? I mean, I've, I've spun better. But, yeah. Uh, that good, good quality data, at least. Yeah. So, I okay. mean, I'm not going to hit it perfect every single shot. Right. I, I mean, the, the club speed's very consistent here, right? I mean, right. 83, or 80, sorry, sorry 89.3 to 90.1. Smash factor is basically factors the exact the same. same. on every yeah. swing, pretty much. So. Yeah. It was just me with my face was slightly open or slightly yeah. closed. It's kind of what we're, what we're noticing. Which, there will here. always be variants there where that right. face will be all a little open, a little closed. That happens. Yeah. It just it just looked like my seven iron numbers mm -hmm. is what it looked like with a, with a club that has eight, eight iron written on it. Right, exactly. So now we can get to um, the seven iron of the P seven MB set. Um, same loft, just a very different construction. Okay. Interesting. So to me, I'm I'm curious to look at comparison to like launch angle and stuff when this is done. Right. Because I that seemed to launch way lower. And launch, yeah. That seemed to launch way lower. Yeah, I think I was about 21 degrees when I looked at the yeah. eight iron numbers. I just, right away off the face and it looked, the way it hit into the screen, it just seemed like it made contact with the screen way lower than it did with Right, but the spin was higher. Right. Yeah. I was a little too fast with the club speed, so I'll try to slow it down a little bit. a good shot. <laughs> it's all over the flag. Hmm. go. All right, that was pretty good. So, we've got 10 swings now. We've got, there's the, the five shots with each club, and I can break them down here to get the averages. Um, what did you think, before we kind of dive into these numbers, what, I mean, takeaways from hitting the different clubs, did you feel anything off the bat? Um, just by, you know, the way they felt and the, what you saw in the first and feet of the flight. Butter, solid. It's yeah. kind of the difference. This, yeah. this felt like butter off the face. Yeah. Very soft, forged feel, while the P790, just even with the 8 iron, still felt pretty explosive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you mentioned it earlier where it was hitting the screen. Yeah. Uh, with the 7 iron P7 MB, it looked like it was hitting the screen just a little bit lower. Yeah. And you kind of touched on it briefly, the launch angle. I think we're about two to three degree difference in launch angle, even though the loft is the mm -hmm. same. Right, right. So that's, I mean, I mean, look how similar. Club speed's the same. Ball speed is wow. the exact same. Uh, yep. Smash factor's the same. Here is a big difference. Launch, launch angle is a big difference. That's 18.6, 21.7. That's three degree difference in launch angle. But the loft of the club is the same. Um, so... But it's interesting then, lower launch, but more spin with the P7MB. Yep. 
interesting then that the carry number the total number it's the same pretty much but you right. have it getting there a cup kind of a different way yeah interesting. it's it's it is really kind of interesting um club path it's kind of interesting like looking at my a attack angle and dynamic loft um those numbers look like they're s slightly different mm -hmm. people might think oh you're trying to manipulate that i'm not trying to manipulate it. i'm just trying to swing the exact same way yeah but it's just the, the, with this particular design it's like it forced me to kind of go down at it a little bit yeah. more maybe i don't i don't know that's interesting but you can see how the difference is there yeah i mean well, so right off the bat we know loft is doing its job. It yeah. did the went ball in the exact same same distance. But the club design So is maybe the you know we, we kinda led with, you know, in this video we were talking about we were kind of focusing on distance quite a bit. We were saying, well is is it the distance um, that you get from this technology? Um, off the bat here it's not necessarily a distance, but it's launch. Um, which you hear that's a term that's used quite a bit too when talking about irons, but you see like you know, these irons that have really strong lofts, you talk about game improvement irons in like 28 degrees on a seven iron. And you're wondering, well, how would some, could somebody get the ball in the air? It's because they're designed to launch higher. And so right. that window stays the same. And I think we saw a little bit of why that's the case here. When that launch angle is three degree difference with the P790, despite the same loft on the club. The, the CG is, is different with the, right, the, the two center clubs. Gravity. With, mm -hmm. the, with the blade, but really, it's higher. And with, mm -hmm. the, um, with the P790, it's, it's kind of lower and deeper because the club head's a little larger. Yeah, so you, you, mean you, hit the, mm -hmm. you hit the P790 15 feet higher in the air. Um, Which is, so yeah. 15 feet higher in the air with a three degrees higher launch angle and with, but with lower less spin. spin. Yeah. Lower spin. So, well, but, that's something to note yeah. too, actually. That'll be, you know, in a windy day, you're going to get. Uh, all, all kinds of different flights with the P7MB in 300 more RPM of spin compared to the P790. That'll change these quite right. a bit too. Yeah, uh, so and these, uh, I mean, it, it, is, it is an 8 iron versus 7 iron comparison, even though we you know the loft is, 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 a, is the same the way we've tested it, but you know, if you're playing with someone on the, on the golf course and they've got a P790 in your bag and you've got a blade in your bag, yeah, it's really no point watching unless you know the exact. Yeah, lock, and that's something right? that yeah, I see it all the time. And now, and since being here a second swing and doing videos like this, I've kind of taken note of it a little bit more. But you see, like, you know, friends asking friends, "Oh, what club did you hit on this par three or you know whatever?" And don't come to consider that the iron set that they have, the lofts are very different. So a seven iron for you might be an eight iron for the next guy or yep. whatever the case might be. We're seeing that here. I mean, the lofts are the same. Eight iron for one club, seven iron for the other club. Loft is mm -hmm. just kind of doing its job. Well, we've got the higher loft spectrum. Let's try the lower loft now. So let's test the six iron versus okay. seven iron and see what the numbers show us. Big jump in ball speed. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, seven iron. I might go a little further. Oh, same numbers, pretty much. Wow. I think you've carried every single one, 204 yards. Yeah, this has been pretty consistent. A little shorter, but. All right, well, all of them carried over 200 yards, Thomas. Um, we got a interesting, so it, it's funny. The launch angle, 30 and a half degree P790 is a half a degree lower than the 35 degree P7 MB. Is really that, I feel like that is not, you know, I, I want you to expect, right? Or maybe What's I'm wrong. What's the dynamic loft? Dynamic loft. 21.5 to 23.2. Okay, that's really, yeah, so that's kind of, that's really interesting there. Um, so, one loft is going to influence dynamic loft, but also ball position. Yeah. So, the formula I use for ball position is every club is different by about half an inch, so I move my ball position forward half an inch, this club gets a little longer. 
So as I was first thinking about that, I was like, when I was in the eight iron, I had my ball position back a, a little bit. Yeah. And my ball position a little further forward with the, the seven iron. So that's why it showed that just a little bit different okay. there, which is going to influence two things. It's going to cause me at impact to be compressed the ball just a little bit more, and also increase my attack angle down a little bit more if I have my ball position back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is why we're Makes seeing sense. that. But otherwise, yeah, it's really interesting that the launch angle is almost kind of the same between the between those two. Yeah. So um, do you, I mean, do you, do you attribute that to, you know, the, the higher launching properties of the club a little bit too? Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah, that, uh, I mean, mean, it'll be interesting to see when I hit the uh, P7 MB set, uh, six iron to see what happens. But wow, that spin rate is consistent. 4,500. Yeah, it is. That's really good. But it's, yeah, less spin. Loft is doing its job. I'm going to mm -hmm. probably say now more distance. Because if right. you look at P790 7 iron versus P7 uh, MB 7 iron, you're, you're talking about quite a lot of distance there. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a big difference in in get the gapping there. Yeah, I mean, yes, the club speed's a little bit different because I was trying to match the club speed with yeah, the 8 iron yeah. versus the 7 True. iron. The two clubs are the same loft, but even still, we're talking not even three mile about three mile an hour difference there, but a carry distance of. It's 25 yeah. yards? 25 yards. So, yeah. It's a big wow. difference. Uh, all right. Let's get to the P7MB6 iron. Okay. Now, this is actually a half a degree weaker than the club you just hit. So. Right. It, so, I mean, you would expect maybe a little less distance, right? Than the last... I mean, yeah. just based on loft, like a little bit. I mean, it'd a be yard or two. Yeah, yeah. minuscule. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was the club speed was a little fast. So once again, with club being a little longer, I've got to kind of yeah. tame it down mm -hmm. a little bit. That is. That was hit really well. That might be the straightest golf shot I've ever seen. <laughs> club wow. path, face angle, face to pass, pretty good. That's. That's good. That's a good shot. It's a slight tug. That one's good. Slow it down. So, that's five shots with a P7MB at 31 degrees. So we can kind of look at these now, um, the, just the chart. And this is interesting because in the first test, we saw the distance, you know, there was different variables that were different, but ultimately the distance was pretty similar. This time, yep. not the case. Um, we saw, you know, a, basically a 10 yard difference um, in carry distance even though it's only a half a degree difference. So, I mean, Thomas, what do you feel like was the reasoning for that, having hit the shots? Did you, I mean, what do you think, you know, was the root of such a difference? And also we should note the launch angle was pretty similar again. Right, so remember the P7MB's got half a degree more loft than the P790. Yeah. So it's 0.3 degrees higher. Remember ball position as well. I'm, I move my ball yep, position yep basically an inch from where I was hitting the eight iron with the uh, P790 mm -hmm. to the six iron with the P7MB. So that's why I would notice that launch angle got a little bit closer together, essentially. Yeah. Um, but it's really interesting, even still, with the exact same club speed that the ball speed was, that's a lot more, that's a big difference in ball speed there. Yeah. That's. You know, we're I mean, talking for four the, or five miles you know, an hour. For the loft difference of being a half a degree, you wouldn't expect five miles an hour, right? I mean, in, in ball speed, and same with the carry distance, you wouldn't expect it to be a 10 yard difference. And I mean, I feel like you were hitting the shots well, you know, it's right. just there's a, you, I think we, we're seeing a much bigger difference in just the efficiency of, you know, like the contact off the face with this, you know, you know six to seven iron comparison yep. of the two versus the 35 degree comparison. We're seeing kind of that difference here a little bit more. I think you're gonna see it with the clubs that have a little less loft on them mm -hmm. as well. So they're more designed to be a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. So P790, seven iron, it's, it's gonna, it's 
this way you start to see a little separation. Yeah. So for sure, that's a, that's a gapping concern for, yeah. for customers. Uh, there's a reason why you can definitely consider playing like a, a combo set yeah. as well mm -hmm. as options in there too. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, you can see a little bit more spin, half a degree more loft, but um, yeah, loft with the eight iron, P7, uh, P790 versus seven iron, P70 MB was the, about the same distance. Yeah. But then we started seeing with that seven iron, a little bit more separation. Right, per, that's per what, se. I mean, that's the, the surprising element to all of this is that, you know, it, we were testing both 35 degree clubs here. Distance ended up being I mean, virtually the same carry distance. There was some differences in the spin and launch angle. But then those differences were a little bit corrected here in this next test, but we saw that difference in carry distance. And I think, honestly, you look back at the numbers here, it just seems to be the speed off the face just dropped a little bit. And I mean, I, I didn't hear from you that you seem to be hitting it poorly or anything like that. So it was just uh, a result of the construction of the club face, club head design, that hollow right. body, you know, with the speed foam. It seems to be just provide a little more pop and it was visible with this test at 30 and a half to 31 degrees. I'm going to say for sure, speed foam with that, with that seven iron was for sure outperforming a, bl a blade, essentially. A so blade the technology the yeah. is doing its job. Yeah, yeah. And I think if you scroll all the way over to the right, if you take a look mm -hmm. at the height, even the P790, uh, the, the seven iron was flying higher yeah. with, a, with half degree less loft. So you can see yeah. here, if you take a look at the height there, it's 126 feet in the air. So very high ball flight with a lot of ball speed and less spin. And that's where you're seeing okay. technology. Yeah. It's kind of what you'd expect. Technology is kind of doing yeah. its job. I mean, that's that, that, that phrase, right? That's popular in golf, you know, high launch, low spin. I mean, that's, uh, you hear it with drivers a lot, but I think it's also what manufacturers are going for with irons too, to try to get those golfers, you know, high flying, but also far iron shots at the target. P790 is an example here where in both of the tests, um, the P790 flew higher, and you, you're seeing easier launch off the ground, easier to get the ball into the air and higher because more weight is down low in the club, center of gravity is lower to help push that ball into the air, and you're not seeing that with a blade that's, you know, that center of gravity is raised a little bit higher because players like to work the ball and launch it lower if they need to, and that's why, you know, we saw the differences here. So it's kind of interesting how it happened in kind of different ways. We saw right. those differences emerge. And then you got your blade. Your blade is designed for, let's face it, professional golfers, very, yeah. very low handicap players. I would never fit someone into a blade unless they absolutely had to play it for anyone that's really right, not, right, not a stretch right. golfer. Uh, and these players like to work the ball. They need a little more, little more spin, stop and power, essentially. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a blade. It's hard to hit. Yeah. And... If we take a look at finally look at the dispersion pattern, yeah. it'd be kind of interesting there to kind of see all four shots there and see if there's any any differences in dispersion that we're kind of kind of seeing. I mean, if we look at the P790, wow, <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty this impressive. Far, I mean, that the farthest yeah. club you hit today was the smallest circle. I mean, you hit it, all of them over 200 yards carry, and it's the smallest circle. Right. <laughs> um, which I think shows something about the uh, the forgiveness and you know you know you know you're not curving the ball as much right high and, and straight someone like you might want to be curving shots into the green, uh, someone skilled like you but a player that's just trying to hit the ball straight at the hole yeah. and P790 and a more forgiving club with some more um, you know stability packed in there is we're seeing with the map here and then we're seeing with the numbers and the extra height that might be the better option yeah so yes it's technology yes it's loft it's kind of a combination it's, of both it, yeah. and. There's a reason why there's so many different iron models out there on the market and for every manufacturer, it's because they're trying to cater to every single mm -hmm. golfer that plays. Right. Everyone swings differently, everyone has a different ability. Yeah. And that's why yeah. higher I mean, handicap golfers should not play a blade. Right. And that's why lower handicap golfers should not play a distance right. player's iron or a gamer for an iron. Yeah, I mean, manufacturers aren't just, you know, you know, turn the lofts way down so their clubs go further. And that's not all that, you know, that's is going on there. They're doing that because they're adding more forgiveness, they're adding more weight lower in the club head and more stability, but that, you know, creates that more, that higher launch, which maintains the same trajectory window, but uh, it's just a better performance overall because you get better forgiveness and performance on the miss hits. So uh, interesting test here though. I, I, some good findings here. You know, I think we, 
maybe not necessarily exactly what we expected, but I think it's interesting to, to take note. And I think we surely found that the loft does play a big factor, but then we also saw the technology play a factor with that, that test as well. So right. good stuff here, man. That was a good idea. This is your idea for a test. And we also had some commenters as well, kind of um, referencing that they want irons tested at the same loft. So good findings here. I, I, uh, you know, I think the, the viewers really like this one. All right, I think end of the day, yes, loft's gonna influence it, but technology helps. Mm -hmm.